but uh, obviously, you know, not the outcome that we wanted. Disappointed. I uh, thought we had a great week in preparation. Uh, the guys were focused, had a positive attitude, uh, worked extremely hard, and uh, they were confident going into the game. But uh, you get five turnovers in a game, and uh, you really have no chance to win a football game, and uh, that's what it came down to. But uh, we did a lot of good things on uh, both sides of the ball. Um, you know, we ran the ball better. You know, we threw at times threw the ball better today. Uh, had a little energy going, but uh, every time we were in critical situations, we shot, shot ourselves in the foot. And uh, again, five turnovers is really the difference in the game, and that's the story of the game. And um, we, we can't uh, allow it. We got to keep getting better, and uh, it's on me. I, I got to do a better job of making sure that um, you know we're getting enough uh, ball security things done in practice. Uh, obviously, we, we work a lot, but uh, uh, obviously not enough. You know, those things can't happen. So with that, I'll go ahead and open up for questions. Chris, is there any common theme in them? Lack of focus, execution? No, no, no lack, it's not a lack of focus, lack of execution. It's a lack of holding on to the ball better. You know, it's as simple as that. You know, we had the first one there on the punt return, you know, with Juwan. Um, and, uh, you know, he's been fairly uh, sharp, fairly consistent uh, back there for us. And, uh, you know, the uh, running back position, and uh, it's about ball security. It's about holding on to the ball, you know, and getting in traffic and, you know, putting two arms around it as uh, much as anything. What went into the decision to pull Chris in the second half? Uh, the same thing. You know, we, we needed a spark. You know, and uh, we've got an issue with quarterback. We've had one, and um, you know, we need to uh, evaluate if that geo came in and provided a spark for the offense. We moved the ball down the field several times. Had an interception. Um, you know, missed some throws, but uh, at least he could move the ball with his feet. And uh, like what he did. You know, um, that's a guy that didn't get a ton of reps uh, this week uh, through the course of practice, uh, but he showed enough that. Um, he could do some things with his feet and uh, just made the decision half that we needed to go a different direction, so we did. So does that mean that it'll be more of a, I don't know, open competition? It's, it's open. It's, it's completely open. There's, um, we haven't had enough production at the quarterback position uh, in the first half of the season, and, um, and uh, we got to open it up. And uh, I like what I saw out of Geo today. And, uh, we got to continue to try to work him and to work some of the others, but it is absolutely an open competition. And um, we got to figure out who can give us the best chance to consistently move the ball. And uh, again, I thought Gio did a nice job when he came in in the second half. Because this is the second straight week you've had that pull, Chris. Have we reached the point of no return with that? Uh, we've reached the point where it's an open competition. And uh, you know, we've, we've got to look at doing something uh, differently, uh, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, him doing something different or someone else has got to be in there. Uh, we're at that point. And um, uh, Chris has done a lot of good things. And it's, again, uh, like I've said before, it's not all on him. Uh, but uh, you know, a lot of times you got to have a quarterback there that the people trust, and every now and then when things break down, can make something happen. And uh, Gio was able to do that for us in the second half. And we'll see if uh, moving forward he can end up being the guy, or if somebody else will. But uh, you know, he'll be right in the mix. But it'll be open. It's open. Quarterbacks on the roster? It's, uh, it's, uh, I don't know how many, but the quarterback position is open. How many will have an opportunity? Uh, it, that that'll uh, be up for uh, conversation as we go uh, in the next week. Uh, you know, starting tomorrow and Monday. Uh, but uh, we've got to look at doing something different. Could you um, explain or fathom what happened on both fourth and one plays? Uh, bad snaps. Um, you know, at the, the first one, uh, Derek was just trying to anticipate the snap count. He thought we'd snap a little bit faster. Uh, quarterback didn't tell him to snap it. He snapped it, and uh, it was a bad snap, and the quarterback wasn't ready for it. Uh, the next one, um, you know, until I watched the film, I'm not sure exactly what happened. I think the snap was okay. Um, Geo felt like he should have handled it better, but didn't. And, uh, but I know the first one, uh, you know, Derek uh, just uh, anticipated a snap count and um, snapped it early. Do you, um, I know it's right after this game, but is there a message you can share? I mean, it's got to be disheartening to come out of another loss. Like just, you know, you talked about the second half being a fresh start. It's not yeah. the way you want to start that. No, yeah, it's absolutely. It's not. I mean, we, we talked about our keys to victory going into this game. And uh, it's our, our plan to win. But we wanted to make sure we had it focused football team this week. We want to have a positive uh, mindset. and We want to be confident in our abilities to go out there and get the type of results that we wanted. Um, I can say when we started the game, I felt uh, really good about having all three of those things with our football team. They were focused. They've been focused all week. They were positive. Uh, they were very confident that they could go out and play the type of game they needed to play to be successful. Uh, we talked about not beating ourselves. You know, that was point two, you know, our keys to victory. You, we can't beat ourselves. We've had mental errors in the last two games, big losses that, that killed us. Uh, well, that, that's an area, obviously, that uh, we didn't succeed in today is we didn't uh, go out and play a clean football game. We, we beat ourselves with the turnovers. Uh, we were cleaner with our assignments, you know. Uh, up front, we, we blocked guys better. We protected better. Uh, but we had five turnovers, and that's uh, really where it's at. We talked about critical situations. We had to win critical third, uh, third
third down situations. You know, offensively, I think we got nine, uh, you know, converted on nine uh, or third downs. And I think there were four of 13 maybe uh, um, uh, Illinois was, which you know, on both sides of the ball, that's not bad. But the critical situations are hers were the fourth down uh, situation. So we, we didn't uh, win the critical situations uh, that we needed to. Uh, then we talked about the battle of field position, you know, uh, and how important special teams uh, was in our, having our success. And uh, obviously, we fumbled the first punt, and uh, we lost uh, that area. So when you look at those keys to victory, uh, I thought we were clearly focused. We were positive. We were confident. But we beat ourselves. Uh, we didn't win critical situations, and we lost the battle field positions you know, when we fumbled a punt. Thank you. We talked about this a lot, being a long process. We reach the point where we have to start making decisions for 2017 and beyond. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a coach. We're a coach. You know, we're a program. Uh, we're going to keep, you know, grinding. You know, we talk to the players in there. You know, there, there's there's a wall that everybody hits at some point. You know, and the, that wall is a difference between you know average and good, and good to great, and great to elite. You know, we're at that wall. You know, and uh, we need to find a way to get over it. Um, sometimes, you know, you look at games like this, and you look like the games the last two weeks. It looks like we're really far away. You know, we're not that far away, you know, uh, but we've got to find a way to get over the wall and, and get over the hump. Um, there are a lot of positives that, that, that I can take out of this game. Um, unlike the last two, last two, I think there weren't any positives. You know, we, we uh, got annihilated. There's no secret to that. This game, um, there's a lot of positives that I can take out of this game that we can build on. And um, you know, again, preparation was there. The attitude was there. Uh, it's the small details. Winning is very hard. I told the team this. I told the staff this. It's, it's not just the players. You know, winning games is very, very hard unless you're just an elite team and, and have a bunch of guys that are better than everybody else. But winning is, is really hard. And the attention to detail you know, has to be there from everybody. That's the coaches, that's players, that's support staff, everybody. Uh, accountability, having extreme ownership in your uh, responsibilities has to be there You know, on Saturdays. And, and today, unfortunately, it wasn't uh, when it you know, comes down to some of those keys to victory. Gio's touchdown, was that um, a des design play or was it improvised? Uh, no, that was a design play. Yeah, that was that was all designed. And the way he executed it, I mean, what, what did you yeah, see there? Good, good execution. You know, he, um, you know, we were reading it, and he, was, he had a run pass option, and uh, did a nice job of reading his key, and, and uh, you know, kind of lobbed the ball over up, up over the line. It was a great catch by the tight end. With all the turnovers, obviously that was so damaging. At that point, though, when he gets the touchdown and then he gets the three and out, you seem pretty fired up there. You know, prior to that last pick six, did you think maybe they could, you know, maybe you were. Uh, well, absolutely. I, mean, I, I didn't think uh, until the end, until the pick six, really, that there was any opportunity or really any time that we were out of that game. You know, I felt confident about our ability going into this game. Um, you know, even at the first half, we're down seven nothing with the way that the turnovers that we had in the first half. We were only down seven nothing, and um, you know that's unfortunate. It, we, we played some really good snaps of football to come out in the second half. Um, you know, I'm disappointed in the defense be giving up a touchdown there right out of the gate. Um, we could have stopped them there and, and forced them to punt and get the ball back, you know, seven nothing. I, I, I felt confident, but even, you know, after that touchdown, we get a three and out. We get the ball back. There's more than enough time. We got the whole fourth quarter to go. Um, you know, Gio was giving us a spark. You know, the sidelines do stuff. I absolutely thought we had a chance to come back. Thanks, coach. So, thank you guys.